and here we are again on t four tables of 100 I'm going to try and keep my rambling to a minimum for uh, for this video so if there is um, some quiet patches it's just more as a preventative measure from me uh, talking garbage um, that is out of line with wh what I really want to achieve throughout this series the, ho the whole point of this series is that I really just want to again give you guys a feel for the day in day out and and show you what you should be doing at the table and what you should be doing with your time uh, on table three because we're going to see about this board so often um, with our air I think it makes sense to see bet here um, we can take a pot control line there if we like to but I still think I can get calls from a lot of lower pocket pairs. And I'm just going to get off table three. So again, with no action at the table, I'm just having a look at some of the past hands just to see what's been going on. And... I'm not too sure if I like my C-bet on table 2. I mean, looking at his fold to 3-bet stat, it looks profitable. But when I do get... Um, however, I think I should maybe start thinking a little bit more about the ranges with which I'm actually doing this. Um, and I'm probably going to double barrel here just because he's going to call with our hands like pocket 9s and pocket 10s. And he's going to... Um, call a huge amount of C bets and fold to a lot of turn bets. So I think I can definitely double bar double barrel profitably. Um, the Queen is um, a pretty good card. I think we can always just bet there. And on table one, I think our hand's pretty vulnerable, so I don't mind a decent sized uh, C bet. And table two, it's a, an easy fold, but I still like my play there. Um, I can be doing this with a whole range of hands, and he can really be raising me here with a really, really strong range, and it, it'd be really weird for him to do this as a bluff, especially as I've just sat down at the table. Um, and so um, I'm really happy with my play.